So recently, by mistake, I ran my battery flat up the truck and I just had some cheap old jumper cables which didn't work. So I bought these jumper cables off Amazon where I'm gonna tie in one end of the cables to the battery and then I'm gonna mount this Anderson style plug under the bumper and that's where the cables can plug into that way I don't have to open the hood and that can be for somebody else jumping my truck or I can jump somebody else's vehicle just the convenience of, um, of not opening the hood which is kind of cool so here's the end that ties to the battery positive and negative and you got this Anderson style plug and then in there is in there the actual clamps with the other side of the plug nice thick one gauge wires a lot of power will go through them I took this out and then this came with the kit. I'm going to screw that in. Make sure you put the positive and the negative in the correct place. Get the lock washer on. I'm just going to leave them loose for now until I want to see where to route the wire or the wires somewhere down there now I'm just going to go under the vehicle to see the best place to route the wire okay here we go Maybe I'll just bolt it to the bumper right there. So I think I got my wire routed correctly. Now I can tighten up the clamps. Now I gotta remember the other end is live now. I'm just tightening up the main terminal. Gotta be real careful when you do these that you don't touch any tools onto any part of the body because you will get a nice big spark. So this awesome kit even comes with some nuts and bolts and lock washers. So instead of drilling a hole into the, uh, the bumper, I found a hole already. So we're gonna screw this right here. All right, nice and tight. gonna see make sure these are separated let's see if it plugs in this can only go in one way you cannot mix the positive and the negative you can try see it doesn't fit it only fits one way boom now these should be live And I just want to use my electrical tester. You can use a regular 12 volt tester or a multimeter or whatever works. Cool, so we're live. Look how far we can go now. That's pretty sweet. So basically if the truck truck battery dies, we can always use the camper to jumpstart ourselves or another vehicle. So that was a fun little project, took me about an hour, cost about 50 or 60 bucks, I'll put the link down below. Uh, it just makes things uh, less of a hassle if you have to jumpstart somebody or get jumpstarted, you don't have to open the hood, just plug it in, don't get dirty, nice and thick, thick one gauge wires, 
So there'll be lots of power to go through there and it should start up pretty soon if your battery's really flat because we had a real flat battery a few weeks ago with a skinny wire jumper cable, didn't work. Yeah.